Hi, I'm Charlie from Fruit Salad Trees. Uh, we specialize in multi-grafting up to six varieties of fruit on the one tree. And here are my top three tips for caring for your tree in summer. Okay, tip number one, removing flowers and rootstock. So you see this young tree has flowers and rootstock and we wanna just remove these. Rootstock on citrus is easy to tell because it has three leaves and it's called trifoliata. So you wanna remove this because the rootstock drains energy away from the graft and slows the growth down. When the tree is young like this, we remove the flowers so we can use the energy that would put into the fruit and flowers for growth. Okay, tip number two, watering. So fruit trees like a lot of water, especially produce fruit and especially in summer. So when you water a tree, you wanna water it around the drip line, which is basically the furthest part of the leaves around the circumference of it. And that encourages the roots to go looking for water and you get a stronger tree. So plenty of water is important for trees. A mature tree in the ground can actually use as much as 200 litres a week. However, you also don't want to overwater them. So stone and citrus especially can be overwatered. And when we have a lot of rain like we've been having, we can actually hold off on watering them until the rain passes. Try and water sort of in the morning towards the late afternoon so you don't have the water on the leaves, you know, sort of magnifying the light and you tend to get a little bit of burn if you do it in the middle of the day. So you want to sort of water early morning, sort of late afternoon when it's nice and cool. Okay, I just want to talk to you a little bit about fertilizing and drainage. So we tend to mound up our compost around the tree like this, which is actually great for drainage and for things like stone fruits, like this is actually a blood plum, an apricot and a yellow peach all on the one tree. Stone fruits and citrus really don't like too much water. So by having a mound, the water sheds and the, basically the roots of the tree don't drown. Um, also by having it mound out all the way out here, the roots tend to go looking for nutrients and spread out and you end up with a stronger tree. Because if you just fertilize towards here, towards the trunk of the tree, the roots aren't encouraged to grow, they just sort of stay in one spot and you don't end up with a very strong tree and a wind comes and knocks your tree over. Also, as far as watering, rather than just watering here, you want to sort of water sort of to the drip line. So from here, and kind of around the circumference of the tree like this. And that again will encourage the tree's roots to spread out and anchor the tree, tap into more nutrients, you get tastier fruit and a stronger tree. So balancing can be a little bit intimidating, but as you can see, you can hack it back pretty, pretty aggressively and the tree will just do fine. So if you would like some more information, please check out our website. We have a few videos and a lot of information on there on how to balance the different graphs and the different figures.